because of the, 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 the postings that they will have and the travel warnings and the ban. So I can't say number one anymore. You know, we used to be like a top destination. Then, oh, crime. Crime on a different level. So, you know, with all of, I've seen some comments all of some place, um, pertaining to what happened to Rocio in Nairobi. So, and so for no crime is everywhere. I, even as, as much as Jamaica is calm, Kingston is calm, and downtown is calm right now, I still would not walk downtown with my bag on my shoulder like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because I know that these things happen. The place that I know that calmed down for sure with the grabbing and the snatching of the bags is Montego Bay. That one for sure. Because that was the bag snatching capital of Jamaica. Montego Bay. Trust me. But a... a I love the fact how Sean brought Sean and Dee brought Jamaica out of, like in a fresh and a fresh vibe with a fresh touch, a different level. And they brought, you know, you know, Jamaica has a lot of YouTubers, and everybody comes to the table with so many different blogs about Kingston, about Jamaica. I mean, tourists goes there, news media goes there, and everybody have a story. But for those of us in this circle that are followers of Dimwango and Sean Al, tell me the honest truth. Have you ever seen Jamaica in such a detailed manner? Tell me. Should I give you a taste of every little thing and give you a vibe? I mean, especially even with Dimwango. Dimwango went to Westmoreland. I was born in Westmoreland, guys. You know, how would I feel to see Dimwango in my birth parish? I'm a Westmoreland by birth. Yeah. And I felt so good. Look me over here. Hey, hey that's my parent. <laughs> yeah. I felt so good. And a lot of vloggers would not really get into details. Even uh, uh, the, 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 the place that she stayed in Westmoreland, I can't think it's Rolling River. I can't remember the name of it. And I've never been there. I'm not ashamed to tell you. I have never been there. I don't know how to get. Because look, listen. These parishes are big. You guys from Kenya, you know, it's not like you're on a little tiny island. You understand when you have to drive for miles, hours to get to a particular place. You drive, you get lost, you go around in a circle, come back to the same place, and you're still not finding the entrance to a, a particular village. That is how um, it is for us. You know, people in Kingston and call us, like people who are in Montego Bay or, or Westmoreland and, 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 and Hanover and those parishes, Kingstonians call us country people. The people from country are here. Yeah, we are from the country, but we're still living in the country. We cannot find country within the country. We cannot find certain districts. I don't know how to get to even places where the more go. I'm telling you, I you know how good that makes me feel to know that I can sit back and somebody teaching me about my country that is not even from my country. And let me tell you, this is the reason why I respect this girl and I will always come to the defense of this girl. You know what I'm saying? Because she brought it to us on a different level. Another thing that I saw, someone was saying that Dimwango don't know SHIT about Jamaica in a comment. And I, I, I was a moderator on that, on that, on that uh, uh, channel. And I deleted that comment. I'm not ashamed to say so because that was insulting to me. That was insulting to me because I don't know about many things that, um, about many things about Jamaica that Dimwango brought. I don't know if any one of you guys understand what I'm saying here, but honestly, they brought Jamaica to us on a different level. Yeah? The way how the vlog, the way how they brought the vlog is as if you and your best friend walking in the villages. That's just how I felt. Honestly, C D D Sean and, and, and uh Kino does his thing, you know, but Kino is more a charity. A charity vlogger, he gives more of his community. That's what he does. That's what he specializes in. And um, so it's a difference. As I say, everybody comes with a difference. And I'm happy that Esther is now with them. Esther is the quiet one, but I hope she's going to give it to us even in a different a different way and a different level. Esther <laughs> is a character in herself, by herself. But guys, on a serious note, you know, I'm happy that Sean came. There was no, you know, no, 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 no mishaps, no nothing. Don't care what nobody said how they want to behave in the wild and no streets are not. I saw we like it. I saw we 
like it. It means that that's how we like it. Yes. And <laughs> yes, our well, go on. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Welcome. Yes, so that is how we like it. You know, in a matter because as a Jamaican, as soon as you hear me, a young person, even the older ones, hello, you ever watch some kind of some video sometimes coming out of Jamaica, some old age people that and you want to know what the who granny this is. Come get your granny or your grandpa. Jamaica people are musically inclined. And I'm happy that the I mean have some nasty kind of music that I don't really like, honestly, and it's bad influence. And I think that's the reason why the Prime Minister went as far as banning certain kind of music because it, it influenced the, the, the scamming and the crime and the, the, the murders and so on and so forth. It did, it did that those kind of music played major roles in the country. They're telling you basically what to do, or they're telling you what they did or is doing the lifestyle. Yeah? But bypass that and let us go to. The way how these young ladies, you know, went there, brought Jamaica to us on a different level, you know, brought the lifestyle of Jamaica to us on a different level. Okay, 11 people watching. Please, guys, guys, uh, put a like on the live. And I don't know what to do with these comments that I'm watching here because right after this live is done, <laughs> these comments are going to disappear for whatever reason. I don't know. YouTube is just messing up with that part. So if we don't have comments, let us make sure that we have likes. Yeah? So it helps the, the live to circulate in the algorithm. Yeah, man. One love. That's the way to do it. And if we don't do it like that, then you know, say we're going to be in a little problem. So with this this love that, sh this newfound love that Sean Arrow found in Jamaica, I'm happy that she's going back with nothing but happiness in her heart. And I'm happy. Hey, Guys, did you see the comments? Were you watching the preview yesterday? And there's so much love in the comment section. Do you guys see? And, and for us here who are Jamaicans, for us here who are Jamaicans, mm, I'm telling you, you know what we are talking about because we're welcoming people. And I honestly think that Jamaica is one of the most welcoming countries within the Caribbean region serious because i've been to places and we all have the skin same skin skin colors i've been to caribbean countries and i'm telling you they very they have very 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 racist behavior towards us as same caribbean people yeah same caribbean people we share the same sea water with upon tiny little rocks just like one another and we're very very I've, I've experienced very hostile behaviors from other caribbean countries you know and uh, not that, listen, it's not everybody in the country would behave if I have one or two experience, but I'm saying, when you pass on the street and hail up somebody in Jamaica, and they, or if they either would even reach out to you, say hello to you before you even say to them. I've been in countries where I pass on the street and I say hello, good morning, because that's why I'm used to. And they wouldn't, some of them wouldn't even answer you. Honestly, some of them wouldn't even answer you. Yes, 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 yes. Sometimes I wonder if it's the yes hour. Sometimes I wonder if it is the, the language barrier. But a lot of people in the Dominican Republic speaks uh, English. A lot of them speaks English. So uh, and because I've stayed, I've been in the Dominican Republic about four or five different times due to work, and I've stayed from end to end. The farthest part I did not go. I think uh, I've been in Punta Cana. I, I been in why they Maya the Maya or some of the names don't know. I don't know Spanish. Don't let me even try to 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 to, to say them here. <laughs> I've, I've I've yes, you're right, you're right. But in Punta Cana, because it's so touristic, um I've had good experiences, but the uh I think in Playa de Maya or whatever the name is, um at one point, I remember we were almost scammed. Um, it was, I had a staff member with me and um, we paid for something and they wanted to give us something else. And when we, we, we asked that we were be, uh, to be refunded, you know, we had to call the cops <laughs> because, you know, they, 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 they were doing and saying other things. So we had to call the police. And to get to get back our monies and to find somewhere that was more comfortable because what we paid for was not what we were 
in our family. Yeah, man, them, them rude, them rude, them rude. Not all of them, because I have friends who are from the Dominican Republic. My husband, his roots are also from there. I'm not hearing myself, so I'm missing on that call. Hold on. Okay, I'm going back to the call. Which is what I wanted to do. Here. This one, um, when you have to rely on technology, right? Okay. It's not the internet. So, it's basically... If you guys are hearing me, <laughs> I'll see comments from our, but I don't even know if you guys are hearing me. Please let me know if you're hearing me. Okay, yes, 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 I'm hearing that question. I don't understand that. This internet is, is kind of annoying. Um, <laughs> up in volume and all. Let me just, uh, let me just, um, see what's going on with the call. Let me check. I'm hard to hear you. So, so. Sure. I'm not sure what's going on. But we move, we move, we move. Are you guys hearing me? So it seems like there's a massive delay, and uh, anyhow, guys, let let let. I will just check. Let me just check a little bit and see what's going on. You are the one who can turn this around. Yeah. guys i'm not really sure what's going on i'm barely hearing myself also so i'm not really sure anyway guys i wanted to touch on a situation that is going on since since uh, about three days now that i started talking about right <clears throat> i honestly don't understand
<laughs> the horn came very high. You understand? So I'm not sure what is happening. And now she's high again and then she's gone again. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Right, guys. So, so I wanted to touch base on uh, the the ongoing situation with a Burundian with Sejo. And no, okay, 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 yeah. I see you. I see you, Awa. The ongoing situation with Sejo, Burundian traveler, and and now uh, Sejo's brother Pablo came out with another video yesterday. And this morning I saw another one with Prince Odinga, and he's very, very pissed he's mad literally mad about the whole situation and <laughs> right now at this point right now at this point where we stand i don't even know who to believe on i don't know who to believe on honestly because if you listen to burundian traveler's story you get some truth in a sense you're listening to Sergio, you're getting some truths in a sense. You listen to Pablo, you're getting some truths in a sense. And then came Prince Odinga, um, very coming, uh, very angry about the whole situation. And uh, <laughs> Odinga is saying that, you know, basically uh, Sergio is lying. So I don't, I, I'm wondering who to believe. I'm wondering who to believe in this in this in this in this issue because uh, the claim about the young lady being underage, right, was refuted. The claim about the young lady being underage has been refuted. The claim about the land and also uh, the claim about the land has been refuted to an extent. I don't really know. I saw a receipt. The receipt state how much the land was for. If you guys follow in the, the story with Burundi and, uh, and the, the interview with Minhawi on Sunday, it was, I think. And then Pablo came out and talked up a lot of things yesterday. What I want to do, however, is... Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but I want you to listen to Pablo a little bit and then we discuss. One side of the story. It's a one sided side. It's a one story side. It's a one sided story. I've been getting very hard, even uh, emotional, emotionally, mentally, to come and express this because I decided to be silent on these issues and move on because I don't like issues at all. Anyone who knows me, anyone who's around me, they know I'm a guy who don't like issues. I'm a guy who don't like fights. Okay. Another moment you push me too much, I'll also fight back. But that's not my intention. Much has been happening. Much has been happening. Uh, but I decided to like uh, let me let it be. Let me, sorry, let me let it go. Because I don't like. Because uh, we all human beings, everyone has his own errors. No one is perfect. So here's the thing. Uh, uh, before BT got a land, I'll tell you a, a, a short story how I knew about BT. Before BT got a land, I think I did met him. We did a video at a village grandpa. A video. Sorry, uh, Compound, that's when I did a video with him. Then after that, 
we we came, we we got closer like friends. Even used to call my brother, calling my brother my younger brother. We had a respect. And it reached a point that uh, he wanted to get a land, to acquire land. Because uh, the guy who wanted to buy him land is the same guy who was uh, uh, sponsoring Nasto towards his construction and my Yugno. So uh, the subscriber told him that uh, uh, in order for you to get land, kindly go either check on Nasto or my Yugno to help you acquire land. You see? So Bitty told me about that. I think when he went there, uh, I don't know what happened. Because by then, I think Nasto was very busy. And then also, with my Yugno, I don't remember what happened. Uh, then I think it reached a point, Bitty made a video, if I'm not wrong, about land, about being helped with my Yugno. Then my Yugno was so mad, like, I made a video too, telling him, I think he was in that video, my Yugno saved don't tell people that I'm looking for land for you, think something like that. Uh, but then there was a land that was sold after my Yugno side on the other side, where Sintek, they have a land, I think the neighbors to Sintek on the other side, there was a land that was being sold there. So, BT came and told me the old deal. I wasn't impressed with how my Yugno told him the feedback. Maybe him, uh, how my Yugno liked joking, maybe he put it in that way, but the guy took it in a different way, but I never liked it. So I told him, okay, I'll try this and see if I can help you when I not talk your land. So by then he came and told me there's a land that some guys want to sell it for him. Guys, I'm reading your comments in the meantime. But uh, after investigating, I got that the land was uh, a little bit smaller and they were asking for so much money. So I remember on a Sunday once. Sunday. Welcome, welcome, Treehouse. Was it a Sunday or a Saturday? Because it was a day that uh, Sergio was having a birthday for uh, the daughter Princess. So we went to this place. I don't recall if it was a Saturday or Sunday. We went there. Well, those guys are pushing, like, come, come, let's see this deal. It was on a Sunday, guys. It was on a Sunday. So, BT had, uh, BT had money because we were I, BT, Mogendi, and the dad. The dad told us today is on a Sunday, and these guys are pushing it. Yeah, they want to sell to make this deal happen. And yet, if you feel, they'll give it to someone else. The dad told us, uh, he called me Tata Pablo. Do this. Let these guys sell the land. Let them not pressure. Why are they pressuring just so much? I saw the, I saw the old man was making sense. Like what they. Guys, let me cut it right there. You know, due to copyrights, I'm not going to be able to play the entire thing. No, I was reading, um, I'm reading the comments and um, what Ward Talks said here. Um, Sage lied about most things after Pablo. You know, I kind after Pablo, I kind of understand. Me too. Me kind of, I, I like, I kind of, I, I got a little more understanding. And but the part that you said, BT has faults as well. I too said so in a video in a live that I did. I was saying, you know, I don't, I don't think that Sejo would have just gotten up. I don't think that Sejo would have just gotten up, come out, and say what he said without a reason. Something happened along the, the lines. You know what I'm saying? So I believe both parties are at fault. And I, I sincerely believe, uh, when, when Pablo, you know, Pablo was saying that, uh, Pablo backed up what Sejo was saying about BT taking to Insta blocking them and then making comments well guys i want to share something here i believe the problem came in from the niece's mouth the niece's mouth like when i say mouth meaning that things were said in the private of the home and it was brought back to bt i believe that because he said in the interview, if you guys go back, he said something that caught my ears. Uh, our, I believe, yes, he's, he's young and he needs guidance. 
you know, from his traumatic life. I did say that. I did say that in the, because, you know, here, if you're doing positivity, you have to be somewhat mutual, meaning that you stay in the middle and you, you, you say, look, what you're doing over here is bullcrap. Let us fix this. What you're doing over there is nonsense. Let us fix this. That's how I stand right here. Right. So this guy, he had a traumatic past. I'm going back to what I was saying earlier. He had a traumatic past. And I believe these things come back at you, you know, and, and it causes you to behave in, a, in, 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 in ways like the watchful eyes will, will, will see, you know, will see and understand. But somebody who is quick to be judgmental and quick to tear you down, they're going to fight back. They're going to fight back. And I think this is the situation with Sejo. Sejo is probably fighting back because he, he just wants to fight for what he believes is right. But he's not understanding that this young man is having meltdowns. And which the guy, which, which Burundian traveler did say in Minhawi's interview that he just wanted to unalive himself. I was shocked that he just blurted it out like, you know, just like that in the middle of the interview um honestly uh better better bell Z zait or zeti zait zait better bell zait um yes the they were entertaining to watch but now it's painful to watch them eat their own all because of money honestly like i was saying yesterday in the live I want back the Nyabo Hansi that Marwa brought to the world. And that's this, this, what your comment here is just summing up what I said yesterday. I want back the Nyabo Hansi that Marwa brought to what he introduced to the world, honestly. And as I was saying earlier, you know, Sejo is going to be in defense mode because whatever transpired um whatever transpired that caused burundian traveler to go on insta edit the the, the, the photo cover their faces and they were they were just sitting and eating this is from pablo what pablo was saying that burundian traveler blurred out the faces of them and they were all sitting and eating in this photo and they just finished having uh a, a, a lace and a diana kemi's house warming thing and um He's gonna now leave and say they all wanted to kill me. No, if you guys, how would you feel? Put yourself in Sejo's place for one second. How would you feel if you if I if if we all all of us were here, all nine of us were here right now watching here and we took pictures and everybody was laughing and think that everything was okay. And then when you go home, somebody call and tell you, hey, look on Instagram. You don't know, see the real things. Have a, a picture up there, blurt out everybody's face, and then saying that you all wanted to kill me or whatever the case may be that he stated, whatever the caption was on the on the thing, on the picture. You know, if Pablo didn't even come out to, to say that clearly, I wouldn't even understood what most of what Sejo was saying because I saw the thumbnail, but I did not, it didn't come up as clear as how Pablo explained. And it's sad to know that this guy might be going through trauma and nobody right now is there to help. But they're all going to fight because he's retaliating. Look, I had a, I had a, 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 a video the other day talking about uh, Joyce's. And you guys might now see similarities in what is happening between like Burundian and, 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 and Joyce, Joyce's. See if you understand what I'm saying. Trauma brings, you know, some kind of behavior sometimes that's unexplainable to people who might not understand. And, you know, us as the unlooking public will have to just not be so judgmental. I was never, you know, in this, in the case of Burundian uh, interview, all I said was, you know, it's time for people to start to work things out, know, to talk to discuss things instead of taking to social media. To take to social media 
instead you know and and you know even this morning my husband was saying that there was an incident where two friends two best friends uh uh got into a fight and <laughs> got into a fight and one on a live the other why because they were just having a civil conversation and then one of the friends said something to the other one in a jeeringly manner which he, he not, not in front of anybody they were alone apparently but now that he's held he has to explain to the police why and what happened so the other one said something to him that he did not like and a fight ensued over a simple stupid joke you know just a joke so who knows what the other person was going through the one who committed the crime you know so but both of them both of them both of them is quick to come on social media i'll tell you the honest truth because from what if you go back i'm 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 i'm, I'm responding to uh word talks um if you go back if you go back to to let me see say just quick to on social media without thinking of effects he's very emotional and erratic well that i don't know he should have discussed with pablo okay first all right all right okay well sometimes you see when you guys make these comments i i don't know where you guys are from i don't know from what how and what uh what how why you make these comments so sometimes i have as like i say i'm in the middle you know so i'm reading but i think that both parties in this case i think that <laughs> i think that both parties should actually you know rethink rethink i see zach that your uh thing still here thank you very much i think both parties should rethink and 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 before coming to social media and and firing off because what you put out here is gonna be out here and even if you go back and delete it remember people screen recording things screenshotting things and social media is social media that is what i know so far so i'm saying i don't know how about you guys but i'm saying that i think that both parties involved should have spoken about the, the issue are all parties involved should have discussed but pablo was saying if i can remember clearly pablo was saying that they spoken he had spoken i think he confronted him about his niece because they do not want for burundian to date the niece based on uh the diana kemi uh, situation so they don't want that problem. And Pablo was saying that he told her that he's a YouTuber, leave that alone. And at one point when he went to the home of Burundian traveler, uh, he found his, his niece came out of the house and she was very frightened when she saw him because she didn't know that he was outside. Neither did he know that she was inside or something of the fact. And uh, he asked what she was doing here. And he said that he was creating her a YouTube channel, which he was adamant from the get go that she's not having any YouTube channel and she's not to be on YouTube and not to date a YouTuber. And Burundian said that they are not dating. Now, I don't know how the African culture works. Um, sometimes here in the West, you know, uh, older family member or family members, because even, uh, I have sisters who we saw, uh, as, as, as other siblings, we saw that she was heading down the wrong path, even though she's a grown woman. And we saw that she was heading down the wrong path. And we said, well, listen, I don't think it is fair for you to, it is wise for you to marry that guy because so on and so forth we don't see that it would work so on and so forth hey i i don't know i don't know and she did what she had to do and you know in the end <laughs> we were right we were right we were we were right so that's how we do it sometimes but i don't know about i mean i think that 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 as uncles i think they have a right and they have a say and based on how the close proximity of Diana, Kimi, uh, and, and, and Burundian Traveler, I don't think he should have been moving on to the young lady. 
but you can't choose for people who is 20 something years old. But let me tell you, if you're living in my house, I'm going to choose for you or else you're going to have to come out. <laughs> Sorry, not to sound controlling. But if I'm paying the bills, if I'm paying the bills, okay, you said the mother of the girl is supporting the relationship. Okay. No. I listened, but I did not understand the language. But I, I think Minhawi translated to an extent. <laughs> But I don't know, sir. I don't know. I don't know. But you guys, I don't think that the mom should support it. Because remember, he has the other young lady in waiting there. Say two weeks ago, Sejo was on social media saying that the, he wanted to, yeah, to unalive himself. Sejo and BT are similar in ways. And oh, gosh. So let me ask this question now, Vartox. So you're saying, are you suggesting that they're not in a position to to counsel each other or counsel the one or the other? Or, I I, uh, are you suggesting that? Uh, Zach is saying the mom is the sister to Sage and Pablo. Yes, yes, yes. As I was saying, the niece, their their niece. So. Um, I was, I was, I was, uh, saying their niece. So if I said anything else, I beg your pardon. Sorry for that. Yeah. I was meaning the niece. So, so, so for me, if it was me and she was 20 years old and I still have to pay the bills for whether it is for college and, or anything else, as long as you're under my roof, I'm going to have to have a say and it has to be sensible because as far as I'm concerned, if we're then traveler, had Diana Kimmy. I don't know. I really don't like to discuss people's relationship, which I don't know. I'm just saying here, if they were together, um, that is too close because they're building houses uh, like apart, their houses apart from each other. And to stay there as a mom and support the relationship to say, okay, well, go ahead and date him. Man, that is wrong. That's wrong. That is wrong. So wrong. So, so, so wrong. I don't, the mom, oh, it's the same thing that I'm, I'm seeing the same comment. I don't know why it came back up. That was Zach's comment. It's wrong. That's just my take on it. I wouldn't encourage a relationship like that, knowing that Diana Kemi is still there in waiting, or she's the lady in waiting, or the lady that he runs to as, uh, as per Sejo. <laughs> as per Sejo, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is that's just my take on it, guys. That is just my take on it, literally. And uh, Prince Odinga came out uh, with blazing guns. I've never seen him so mad. He's a cool guy. All the time, I'm watching his vlogs. He's been cool up until the point of this video with Sejo. I watch his vlog this morning and I was like oh no this guy was really really mad and he accused Sejo of lying you know and thing and I'm like oh my this is bad this is very bad this is very bad and it is also confusing because then all parties to me right now are innocent until proven otherwise that's just how I see it because every this story has so many different sides it has so many or too many different sides. So at this point, we're just going to have to have a wait and see. And I'm hoping that it doesn't really get out of hand because I want to say something here. And I do not, I do not, uh, the fact that Burundian traveler came out on camera and said that he sometimes think it, Things of analyzing, analyzing himself. I do not trust anyone. Like I wouldn't trust his action if he's been pressured. You know what I mean? I'm trying to find the right words, and then thinking of the words and having my eyes all over the screen. I wouldn't trust his actions. You know. Let me read what Wartok says. The niece has lived with, um, with the uncle 
since she was young and they feel responsible for her. Okay, okay. You see? So the family needs to call BT and have a meeting in private. I believe that so much, 100%. Sejo was wrong to bring this on social media, 100%. And so does BT. Because BT, to me, ticked off Sejo with the Instagram post and the accusation of wanting to unalive him. Accusations. Because apparently, it's not the first. As, as, as per Sejo and Burundian and uh, 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 Pablo, it's not the first that he made such posts. Let me see now. I'm reading comments. Uh, Awa says that it's like some old times soap opera. <laughs> Grandma days. <laughs> For your face life. I'm not. <laughs> oh, God. I kid you not. And, uh, better. Oh, it's Belize it. Ah, better Belize it. My bad. Okay, the same way Sejo asked BJ for money. Yeah, it's actually BT for money the day before. He should have had the conversation with him. Exactly. But again, social media gave him views and likes. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Okay, I understand. All right. But media, it says that uh, social media brings out the worst in people. Let me see what Zach says. Zach is saying the lie was on the edge. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What the hell is on the edge? And uh, I, I saw on somebody's vlog that the, I saw on somebody's uh, uh, channel that the, the, lady, the young lady's ID is now in circulation. Isn't that illegal to have somebody's ID like that? How did how did they come with I mean yo some things that I see happening in in, in Kenya right <laughs> believe me you come to the west with that kind of craziness the owners the owners for these things will find it themselves why is that young lady's ID being circulated just you remember uh, I think they even did the same thing to fellow the boy that is that is wrong that is wrong I saw somebody saying that the, the, the ID they have the a copy of the ID. I guess that was to prove that the, the young lady, to prove the young lady's age, that she's not underage. But that is wrong. That that should be, even though it's a property of the government, you know. But it's not. It's not theirs. What are they doing with it? Even though that's besides the point. But um, honestly, it, it's it's right back to the all parties involved. They have, they are at faults in so many different ways, because even uh Burundian traveler instead of coming clean and saying certain things answering certain questions he diverted to saying that it is the donations that are getting them angry are getting them mad they don't like they don't like the fact that and then uh, you know who don't even know what is really going on no you begin to summarize your own answers because he said that and then you're now hearing from Sergio, Sergio and Pablo. Pablo Pablo is the one who said that BT was very rude. He, he spoke rudely to the donor and they, the, the donor cut off all communications. You know, Sergio was more angry and talking kind of kind of in, in a sense, not clear, but Pablo, Pablo is more detailed. So you begin to when you hear these stories. Yes, uh, I'm I'm reading War Talks. Pablo was handling the issue privately. Yeah, I think so because in the in, in the beginning of his video, he says that he's not somebody who comes to the public and 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 he uh, has to be this bad. Exactly. BT as as Bosejo said that Sejo did say that, and he said that they block and, and Pablo said that BT is always posting on Instagram. Yes, and when you do that, when you do that, and the prying eyes get a glimpse of this, you know that people are going to stir up war. They're going to want to be taking this information, passing it to the, the people, in you know, and then this is how bad feelings are going to come. But I believe things started from, I think the heat started in Burundian Traveler from what the young lady told him. 
I believe the young lady told him because he said in Minhawi's interview, a family member of theirs told him that what they were saying about him. So who family member, unless it is say your sister, uh, uh, unless, it is, unless it is their sister or somebody else, who else, who else? Who is the closest one to him at this point? <laughs> Let me read Zach's comment. Zach says, the issue is very deep. BT has been taking care of the mom. Oh, and the lady ever since. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and that explains the onset in their relationship. I understand. I think he did mention something about paying, paying off somebody's someone of maybe the young lady's rent in the college flat or someplace where she's staying he did mention that yes Zach, you are correct you are correct he did mention that but <laughs> it is deep it is deep but the, the sad part about this whole thing is that coming to the social media instead as uh i can't remember who said some of you guys said earlier that they should you know instead of coming to social media call the family together because I, I feel like the, the way how I'm seeing things right now I feel like it is going to go further and this little young man called Burundian Traveler <laughs> how is he going to be at peace living amongst them when all of this is happening this is my concern more than anything else I mean, the first one is his mental health. Honestly, honestly speaking, as a mother, my eldest son is 31 years old. And I could understand. I think my son is way older than Burundian. So <laughs> my main concern is his mental health because he was there happy and posting. I'm seeing a, a Tina's official, I think a family member uh, snitch on on the things <laughs> yeah and I, I i i i think it's a young lady because they're the close really the reason why i think so i think it's because of the close relationship that they they they, they uh have and you know probably she was there and something was said or maybe it's the sister and they said and things you know been going back and forth between each other but you know as 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 our said uh the money is always the root. I guess you mean always the root of the problem. You know, it's the love of the money that is always the root of the problem. When you love it too, too, too much, you will do every or anything, you know, but it's not to accuse anybody or anything, but honestly, how it is right now, as we see it, it's a whole barrel of, I wouldn't say fish, <laughs> stinking fish. <laughs> A whole barrel of stinking fish right now, and it's stinking so bad. And the stink is probably the money, as you say, our. It's causing it to stink, causing the, the chips to stink. It's sad. And I want, I want, I want to know how Burundian Traveler is going to be able to be in that environment peacefully. So he, the whole thing that he should be doing right now if any is to be seeking peace with these people you went you're an outsider and that's what said your first said yesterday and if they're throwing that in the air you know what that means that you 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 don't belong so when you're in a place and you're surrounded by lions and tigers you know you have to play calm and you have to make peace you have to make peace um Atina's official you said uh what talks you are very <laughs> okay uh something is blocking the comment that you made a while ago i'm not really seeing it clearly i guess you were saying um I guess you're saying he's very, War Talks is very right and that uh, the two cannot.
control their emotions. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That is that is correct. That is correct. It's very evident. It's very evident that um, emotions or egos, I don't know which one you call it, are clay. And um, okay, so Zach is saying that nothing will happen to him. He just needs to let the lady go exactly and get a lady from elsewhere exact a hundred percent hundred percent because if 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 uh, as for him burgundian traveler he's not diana kimmy he says he's not dating that's what he said i'm not seeing anyone i'm not dating anyone straight up on camera so if i'm diana kimmy and you know that you're creeping into my house when night falls and you want camera i slap you right on your head side because you're disrespecting me in front of the whole world <laughs> And I would be done with you too in front of the whole world. I want to make sure that I make you pay for that because then you, you're denying me in front of the whole world. Yeah. So what he needs to do is move on from that young lady. But then uh, Pablo stated something about looking after passports. He, well, he took the young lady to look after some passport for her. Hello, hello, hello. So you see you you see what is happening here it's deep it's deep is he only trying to help her or are they planning to go touring together to go traveling together and vlogging because then first she was told not to have a youtube channel or not to date a youtuber and then she was caught coming out of a bj's house bt ugh, bt's house who the hell is bj bt's house and um then she 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 he he said that he was doing a, a youtube channel for her when she was already one no uh pablo you know said that he he mistakenly said on his, that burundian traveler mistakenly said on the phone that he's here uh with her like he called and they were in nairobi <laughs> oh my uh, my readings like comment. He said DK is more learned and he does not want to. Okay, okay, he does not want to be with the more learned. Uh, I, I, I don't understand that term, the way how it's termed. <laughs> I'm 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 trying to understand you, Zach. So basically, who has more head sense, <laughs> DK or the niece? I'm trying to decipher what Jack uh typed there. But um, he, he just, as you said, Zaki needs to move on. And if he was out looking for passport, that means some kind of sinister action gonna come after that. Or he was just probably helping her to get the passport. Okay, Diana Kenny is educated, and uh, BT said he can't marry an educated lady. Omg, no, think of them. That is enough to tell you the mindset. I think I didn't want to. Re I uh, uh, guessed it, so I wanted you to give me more clarity on it. I, I understood to an extent. Um, <laughs> this alone is the answer to everything that is happening and why he's behaving, you know, in the way how he is. This alone. Why would you not want somebody who understands life in a higher manner? Is it that they're going to be too aggressive they're gonna be too independent okay i'm gonna ask zach because i know that zach is a male person why if wouldn't you want to date somebody who has a higher level education himself i don't know or somebody who is educated why what would make somebody think or a male think like that why I mean, he's a kid, you know, he's a kid. So forgive, forgive. Sometimes you have to just not even listen and just try to help them, you know, to just give them clarity and, 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 and the nonsense that they, that goes on. Um, 
I have a daughter who is 14. And sometimes the question that she asks, you know, I will have to hold her hand and literally hold her hand, look her in the eyes and say, okay, what you just said makes no sense. <laughs> this is what you are supposed to ask. If it is a question that you are asking or if it is a statement, this is the way how you should have stated it. So it's like when somebody has a childlike mind, you have to, oh gosh, our says, uh, he deep down wants her, but <laughs> okay, he feel build it feels belittle. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, he should. I guess everybody we can stay here and say what we want, but I guess you know sometimes when people are like embarrassed to ask for help, I don't know. Of I don't know if he was allowed the opportunity. Okay, so replying to Zach, I mean, uh, reading Zach's comment, so long as love exists, educated or no, or not, it doesn't matter. All right, now you're talking, now you're talking, now you're talking, but I'll, I'll tell you the honest truth, sometimes when people, like, sometimes when people, like, come out with these kind of statements, you have to wonder what condition are their mind in what, what what condition the brains in because literally you're gonna go somebody I, I wonder i wonder if it's because he wants a pretty girl a pretty 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 girl a dolly with jamaicans would say i wonder if it's because he wants a dolly <laughs> i wonder if he needs a barbie hey and so he coming up with all kind of excuses because sometimes human being are easy you know hey Sometimes human beings ain't easy, you know. They will go wrong the moon and back just because, just because they want something else, but they don't know what to, how to come about, how to come across, you know. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm wishing, I'm wishing the best for this entire saga. And uh, as we watch, let us hope. Each of them, each and every one of us here, I'm reading Zach's, they say they're still uh, toddlers and they can't, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think you're right, Zach, a hundred percent, hundred percent. And the world awaits and, you know, this is where nurturing comes in. Like, it's not a lot of us really had parents and and our guardians to nurture and direct you know because these minds these are the minds the way how he's what he's saying here and the way how he's behaving these are the types of minds where you have to really look out for because they could explode at any minute <laughs> yes 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 our oh, it's true it's true yes it's true um treehouse he says some people just want simple partners so they can control everything. Well, you're right. You're right with that one. While some people, as far as I'm concerned, just didn't get the proper proper mentorship, proper nurturing, in the, the right directions in life. They, they, they weren't taught the skills, survival skills. They weren't taught how to identify things and to work with it, to make it work. You know what would work best because if if this guy had any kind of nurturing i don't think that he would or mentoring he, i don't think he would be running like i said trauma does a lot also to the to the to the brain and um i think at one point i i don't know his history but i heard thus far that he was uh from a refugee camp and if you're running from war uh, and turmoil it does a lot to you mentally so you know, let us be mindful also that that in itself is something that you, you might not, you, you might spend a lifetime and not even recover from all of that. So with that, with that I, I, I must say that he, Marwa helped him, Claude Joseph helped him, and he's, he's a work in progress, I could say. Um, and he still needs a lot of work. Still young, rough and, and, and rough around the edges. Honestly, rough around the edges. When we say rough around the edges, meaning that from where he's coming from, where he's coming from. So he's not, it's not 
on, on a smooth ride and he's not we're not gonna expect smooth behavior from him also we shouldn't expect smooth behavior from him also let me just read what zach says um in africa once a young man gets money and a house what comes to the mind is to lead a soft life and put, okay 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 yeah put bearded meat and magic stick into the works <laughs> you again <laughs> you again that conversation <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me you're killing me you're killing me you're killing me zach omg that one mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> i am dying <laughs> No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Well, guys, it was really a pleasure. And I'm hoping that they get over this. It's 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 so good that we... <laughs> I can't stop laughing. It, 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 I'm just hoping that they actually get over this, you know, and work through their differences and you know just move past this situation because it not look good it not look good it really doesn't look good um to the to the public to the unlooking eyes you know to us who follow them on social media this this type of fights and squabbles and then it is appearing as if money you know when monies are involved and when outsiders come between and do and say it, it causes a major issue so i said yesterday you know sometimes it's best you just leave leave it how it is you know and this is how you make this kind of thing sometimes just let good people go bad because when people have good intentions when you when you start citing up these behaviors coming from with the infighting and and these kind of things you you have to just say boy best i just leave this thing alone just leave this thing alone and don't 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 intervene with them give them what you have to give them if you have to give them and just don't have no input i'm giving this to you uh it can help if it can i uh, if it can't, I I am only gonna do this amount, and maybe somebody else could help you. But right now, I'm just helping you with this amount, and just leave it. Don't have anything else to say. Don't give no instructions, and because it seems to be a major, another major, or another one of the major issues that these young people are coming upon, just by being helped from you know people who wishes to help and are helping just give them what you have to give them with no instruction you give it and to hell if whatever they want to do with it that's their business because at least you know that you've given it and they they wouldn't think of coming back to you because you know you help you know and just leave it be because then when you give when you give too many instructions and directions it causes some kind of fracas between these people just let them be just let them be as they say you know you love them from afar and help <laughs> ah! oh god oh you're killing me you guys are killing me you guys are killing me <laughs> but um i'm just gonna leave it you know here for today i thank you guys for really you've been so good by sticking it out with me um thanks very much let me see Help with conditions are dangerous. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You are a hundred percent correct. Believe me. Because I think that that is the root of a lot of the, 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 the recent fracas and uproar within the guys. I think, I think that because see what has happened even to the other guys, a uh, the one that had the accident the other day and the other one and the the other the one that broke off from them the entire reaction gang i don't know what they call themselves yeah you you see you see what happened and money was the cause of all of that so as you say um as you say our that help with conditions are dangerous you are a hundred percent right 
hundred percent right. You know, and it depends. It depends on the condition too. Then again, <laughs> because you have some good conditions. Because I can say I'm going to help you, but don't expect that um, I'm going to uh, be helping anytime soon again. Because I'm doing this what this this thing this one time, and I'm not going to be able to do it again. So that's a form of condition. Yeah, but when you you know the the ones the conditions that are too too much instructions or too much of a this and that, then that that's where you're going to find problem. Guys, it was really a pleasure being here with you. Uh, thank you for being here, keeping me company here on the podcast. Thank you for helping me to build this channel from the ground up. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, fathom, you know, how we are growing. You see how many subscribers I started with and you see where I am at today. Thank you, guys. I can't thank you enough, honestly speaking. And it's really a pleasure having you guys here with me once again on the podcast let's do this again another time as we close out you guys walk good be blessed and i'll see you again on another one bye bye